Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll try to make this quick. Uh. So I will just mainly go through like a uh, large cap tickers. I'll go through spy. Go through QQQ. Maybe I can go through the Nasdaq. Then then we can go through like a uh, Tesla tickers like Tesla and any other like large cap tickers. Uh, for options play. Yeah. Okay. So like um, <clears throat> what mainly I look out for. Uh, both supply and demand right is I try to look out for <coughs> uh, okay maybe I'll go, probably go through or go to a larger time frame right so on a larger time frame uh, I always try uh, to look out for these crazy moves up okay we call this impulse moves okay so I, I spotted this uh, one over here Okay, so this is uh, impulse move, but uh, <clears throat> what you want to look for are basing candles, okay, or con or maybe consolidation, right? So I know that there's an impulse move here, okay, so just look for green, really huge green candles or like a really green candle to the upside. Okay, this shows that there's a uh, <clears throat> market imbalance, right? If a market is balanced, uh, price will just go sideways, okay? normally we call that uh, accumulation or consolidation phase all right but the moment market leaves that area and pushes up okay we call this the impulse move and then that's where you have a market imbalance right so that's where you have a demand zone which will come back and get tested again or you will get your supply zone right so probably this is a supply zone i think but the thing is that uh, this was a supply zone but it was breached a while ago like uh, a couple of days ago right so um <coughs> Right, so let me see. Uh, so from here, why I drew these demand zone? Okay, I drew, I, I put this one hour so that I know uh, which time frame they are from. Okay, but normally, uh, I'll go to my four hours. How I draw my zones, right? Uh, la uh, big picture time, la larger time frames, right? So you go your four hours, uh, two hours or one hour. Okay, uh, occasionally I go to the three hours. Okay, so the main ones I use, four, two, one, uh, sometimes 30. Okay. Or even sometimes there's 15 right but <coughs> yeah uh, you you see why I actually did 15 uh, this 15 minute time zone uh, this this 15 minute uh, demand zone okay so looking back uh, the first time that I did this one hour demand zone okay although it did not uh, it did not come back and uh, get tested right okay but what I I, I knew from the larger time frame for four hour uh, this is probably where uh, there's a demand uh, this is probably a demand zone because of the huge upside that it had right where price less uh left in an impulse way okay so how you draw your demand zones right okay so i have two ways okay the main one that i use for large caps or uh, yeah okay large caps right for option place would be basing candles right you so you see this kind of red basing candles so green um uh, for demand zone, you look for red candles, and for supply, you look for green candles. Okay, but sometimes you know, uh, it, it can change, right? But more or less, I try to keep it like that, and it, it actually works. Hello, yeah. Okay, so um, uh, let me see. Okay, so this I drew it like that, right? So I drew from the body of the candle, all the way to the bottom wick. All right, so this is this was my one hour demand zone. Okay, if we were to go back, like okay, let me see thirty minute time frame. Okay, even like I think fifteen minute time frame. Like if I drew this zone and during the intraday, uh, it actually got tested, right? Uh, okay, but it's hard to say, right? But came back and then retest and ate up all the orders, ate up all these orders. All these institution orders and uh, just left off right move on to the upside okay but this 15 minute demand zone i drew here okay this was really res uh, this was really respected okay and <coughs> uh it actually really came by uh took took up all the orders and then uh yeah left off the demand zone okay but what you see here right uh how i know that this might be a good reversal Okay, this is this might be a good place to take a, a a call. Okay, look at all these wicks. 
these are bottom price rejection candles okay if you see this kind of um, candles forming right more or less um, it just uh, it really shows try to look out for all these yeah these candlesticks right but long wicks small body or even long wicks okay wicks to the bottom okay rejecting the bottom okay that's where you know that uh, price came down and then uh, got pushed back up okay because of huge sell orders okay right so uh, perhaps let me try okay so this one 15 minute okay so let me go to the 15 minute why I actually drew this <laughs> okay so I, I drew this okay 15 minute oh wait this is uh, recently right okay let me draw it. let me find the other one yeah correct this one okay this 15 minute 15 minute demand zone okay uh, price came over here sort of uh, base over here all right and then uh, from the larger time frame or even this I actually saw that uh, price left off okay but note that this is a great candle I like to look for this kind of things or actually not I like to right but you should be looking for these sort of candles red candles uh, start to have like a base or you can say a short consolidation and then a move up okay and then you can see a few days later a couple of days later it came back uh, test this zone had all this uh, bottom price rejection candles ate up all these orders and then left off Okay, so this would have been a good uh, a good uh, area to buy calls right so your risk is also quite easily defined is that your stop loss can be set at the bottom slightly at the bottom of the demand zone because if you know that uh, if this demand zone is actually breached right the next demand zone will be this one right so your stop loss can be over here okay just slightly below the demand zone okay so you can see how I drew my zones right body from the body all the way to the bottom week okay so this is simple right <clears throat> so this is roughly how I draw uh, you, you can one can argue this can may be a demand zone I, but I need to I don't like this I like to see a red uh, a red candle and then a bu uh, bullish engulfing candle next okay all right uh, <clears throat> So uh, these are just simple demand zone. Okay, I, I really like this types of demand zone as well, right? Okay, so let's uh, call a choppy action, sort of choppy price action here, right? So uh, this over here, like you can see how I drew it. Okay, body of the red candle, and then to the bottom wick, and then um, price had a move up. Okay. So it's sort of base here, right? As you can see, or you can say support, you can, but we call it base over here. Okay, and then it came back over here. Test this. These are really good candlestick uh, that you should look out for as well. Right. Um, come back down. Test it a little. Not all the way down, right? Just now, previously, we saw something like that. Okay, but of course, you have to see... Uh, you have to also note of all these uh, lower price rejection candle long wicks to the to the downside. Okay, these are not too bad, but the the ones that I really like are these kinds. Okay, this this validates this demand zone. Okay, so it came down, uh, just tap it a little. Okay, reject and add up all these orders, institution orders or smart money, whatever you want to call it, and then you can see such a huge uh impulse move up that it had. Right. So next 50, okay, this, I don't know what the, what the hell happened here, right? Okay, but <clears throat> I guess this would constitute as a demand zone. Uh, these are just outliers, okay? I, maybe, I actually I really didn't know what happened over here. Okay, but see, uh, price came down, okay, sort of base over here. Okay, uh, I took the body and the bottom wick. Okay, so these are called proximal and distal lines, okay? But to put it in simple terms, right, for us, Find the body and find the lower lowest wick of the red candle. Okay, does it have to? If for example, right, uh, like this, just pretend like this is a uh, this uh, this is where you want to draw a demand zone, right? So 
you can no wait this is not a good example for example this right let's say i say this this is a demand zone so i draw from the body and i connect to the bottom wick and that will be my uh, this that will be how i actually draw it okay so really comes with practice and the, uh, the more you draw right and the more you see <coughs> how price actually comes down and reacts the better you get in drawing all these zones so you see this 15 15 minute demand right came here tap this left off uh this is sort of like close call is it uh, low is yeah something like that right came down again uh tested and continue to uh, move up okay so these would be good uh, places to load your calls so your stop loss would always be at the bottom of the demand zone right slightly at the bottom couple of cents or whatsoever right so at least you know you have a defined risk right i think very important to know how much you are going to risk uh risk losing rather than looking at how much you are going to earn right? i think that, that that's for me right? i mean because mainly i short stock short stocks so i always have to define my risk uh, we call it the, uh, one r or something like that right so <clears throat> Um, maybe let's go through for demand zones, uh, supply zones, right? So I I noted earlier, right? Um, supply zones. I try to look out for green candles, okay? Green basing candles. So like this one, right? This one, uh, base over here, okay? But look, most importantly is always to find the move down this move down this is a impulse move down this is a sell-off and this is and this will constitute so you know that there might be a supply zone okay sorry not there might be there will be a supply zone here just have to flip through the different time frames right like earlier i mentioned uh four one two 15 minutes 30 even th uh, 30 minutes or even 15 minutes okay i sometimes do five minutes but uh those zones are not reliable Right, because it's just a short time frame but of course if you are able to see uh, in the five minute time frame right there's a huge green candle up then yeah that would constitute as a demand zone or like a huge red candle like a really huge bearish and engulfing right then that that would be a supply zone so see here body of the candle of the green candle uh connected to the the wick okay so this is in 15 minutes right and look tested here uh this is mm, reason i wouldn't say it's a really good action right but at least you know if you took this call you took a you took a put here right uh you would have a good return right okay i don't think this is a good return how much is this yeah i mean it's not really good right but of course added uh this 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 is a resistance if i'm not wrong Right, so you have to add in like um, key levels, so you can see these are levels that I add into. These are support and resistance. So when you add in supply and demand with support and resistance, right, your game will totally change. Right, so um, let me give you an example. Uh, let me give you guys an example of uh, supply zone being tested many times, but of course, eventually it actually breaches. Okay, so uh, just show you a real life one over here. Right. Okay, so I know this was the prior all-time high, right? Okay, so obviously when it reaches all-time high, it will always sell off. Okay, so I think there was one over here. Okay, uh, there was one here. Uh, okay, so let's say if I took, uh, I wouldn't take this. This is not a good base. This is not like a basing candle. Let me go to two-hour time free. <clears throat> yep okay so this is what i'm trying to look out for okay sell off come up somewhat come up base around here okay this is a good one try to look out for these things uh sell off come down uh and then bear a bearish candle down Okay, so I know this is a supply zone, right? So how would I have drawn it? Again, simple. 
from the wake to the body. Okay. Okay, so if you guys are also wondering how these boxes are quite nice, right? Um, okay, originally, right, the boxes will look quite crappy, meaning they are, they are not transparent at all, like, like, the, like this. Okay, so this is like, it's kind of fucked up, right? Okay, it's, it's, okay sorry, it's not kind of fucked up, excuse my language, but it's not uh, transparent enough. Okay, so you guys can just click uh, red. So I was using red before that. Go to HSV. And your transparency change it to 75 okay same for the man zones green uh, change it to 75 yeah so this was a supplier uh, supply zone okay so we we'll move back and uh, can see right over here tested is uh, it breaches a little bit right but uh, proceed to sell okay this is a crazy move down correct so you know you, it would have been good to have some puts here right risking the highs okay well of course these zones are not really good okay this supply zone is not a really really good zone why because of this breach here right i wouldn't like this zone and i know that if tested again uh it might actually breach okay but of course use it with volume profile as well okay but uh that's a lot of that's another uh, we can do this another time right oh you, all, you guys can watch uh, Brady from Atlas he goes through volume profile a lot okay so this supply zone mm, not a really good one right maybe this over here okay this another basing candle so how I draw this connect all the way to this green body to the wick and look okay this is the type of action that I want to see in a supply zone comes up test this supply zone tap and break down okay and then tap again and break down okay this is what i want to see just a light tap okay these are really good if you see sort of this sort of uh, this kind of action right tap and leaves this leaves the supply zone right this is a good supply zone you can proceed to take a put and then i know cover at the next uh, or sell your put uh, <coughs> at the next demand zone or key levels Right, so you, you know you still have to see, uh, you still have to look out for like daily resistance or uh, some really key levels. <coughs> okay, so um, this this is buy for me, for me in my opinion, this is gonna keep going higher. Right, there's no reason for spy to continue selling off. Right. Okay, so um, maybe we can move on okay so maybe you try qqq okay so i had this okay so uh, it normally trade on the five minute right so this uh when when in a five minute time frame right you will see like uh it's, it's not a very good price action right so when coming into a demand zone okay you want to see uh you okay sorry you do not want to see lower highs and lower lows right if you start seeing this sort of price action uh more or less the chances of it breaching is really high yeah same thing for supply zones you want to look out for uh you don't want to look okay you don't want to see like uh higher highs and higher lows okay the chances of it breaching is a lot more higher okay and you want to see you don't want to see um okay you do not want to see second point you do not want to see price uh, continues to stay in that zone for long periods of time, right? You see, imagine you have a lot of okay, institutions has a lot of uh, buy orders at uh, demand zone, right? But if price continues to stay in these zones, right? And they uh, is it logical to say that they are eating up all these orders? It will, right? And eventually, when they eat up all these buy orders, uh, the uh, this zone will be breached, right? And then you move on to the next uh, demand zone or support or what so or maybe demand uh, resistance turn support or whatsoever i will just call it as a key level right because daily res resistance can turn to support support can turn to resistance right <clears throat> so i probably should delete this yeah so this is not a good zone 
I probably would not have taken this. Even if I taken this, I would have get stopped out, right? Next, uh, this over here, I like this. Okay, this was a two hour one. Okay, so I already ran through how I draw my demand and supply zones, right? So this one is a good one. Even if I, from looking from this time frame, right, 30 minutes time frame, okay? Uh, even if there is no, uh, let's pretend that there is no supply, uh, there's no basing candles, okay? If you see this sort of action, right? Consolidation, consolidation, and cons okay, we call this accumulation or consolidation, right? And then the moment price leaves this area, okay, this will constitute as a demand zone. Okay, what you can do probably either, I mean, you can just either, if you want to, you can just draw this entire zone. Okay, or perhaps you can go and try to find the basing candles, right? But if you, I mean, this is, this is fine for me as well. Draw, just draw the entire consolidation zone, okay? And even if you have done that, uh, price came down, uh, absorb all these buy orders, and then left off. Okay, but this, and then of course you had a supply zone here, right? So you can actually trade within this range, okay, of this demand and supply. But you can see, right, this demand zone is a good one, okay, a respected one, based on uh, these candles. Okay, comes down, this long week candle, okay, bottom price rejection candles, and then tap this okay it's just a small tap and then lease this area okay then you know this is a very strong demand zone same thing again right same thing again uh long bottom week rejection eats all these orders and then leaves off right of course it's very important to have multiple uh have different uh time frames on your chart right don't always stick to one minute okay never trade for me i do not really trade spy uh qqq or any large caps on the one minute. Okay, normally I have them on five minutes. Or actually, primarily, even when I trade small caps, right, it is always on the five minute time frame. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this four hour supply, I guess respected, right? But the more times a zone is tested, okay, the probably uh, the probability of it being uh, sorry, being breached, right, is really high. Correct makes sense right so same thing tested once okay tested twice and then third time uh it broke through yeah. right. uh sorry can i can, can you mute yourself yeah okay sorry somebody asked uh do you enter a call after you see confirmation uh see a confirmation bounce off demand or do you enter while it's in the zone with a stop loss okay always wait for confirmation okay sorry i need to mute you uh, uh so always wait for confirmation right like uh when it like uh, looking maybe like candlestick patterns all right when i mentioned just now earlier look for bottom price rejection candles long wicks to the bottom long long wicks to the downside right okay and then price starts to you no know, have higher highs or perhaps higher lows okay for me higher lows are more strong than higher highs all right then you know this uh this is a good zone all right this uh then you can proceed to buy your call correct and then risk probably uh the bottom of the demand zone okay or whatever risk you have right 10 percent to 20 percent i don't know right like see like adam said right uh if you just enter based on the zone right this this is a gamble, right? Okay, okay, it okay, may not be a gamble. Okay, it's not really a gamble, but it's sort of, uh, the probability is 50-50, right? Because there's a chance that this zone might get breached. And then you look from, uh, if, and you can see from, you know, the many, uh, the, the, the different zones that I plotted just now, right? There are times that they actually get breached, right? So, you know, you don't want to, you want to have a higher probability of winning instead of 50 50 right so i mean yeah so that's my take on that okay so that's a good question so always look for confirmation right higher lows or even higher highs or higher lows right Never learn how to read price action okay this is the basis of price action okay or bottom price rejection candles like this yeah so this zone got breached so probably i can delete this zone already right uh, so whenever a zone get breaches, right, uh, just delete them. Okay, so um, in large caps or 
in uh for, okay for me uh what i learned was from this carmine rosato guy okay and then i went uh, i learned how he plotted this and then i had another youtuber that i learned from as well okay that he actually covered roughly what i covered okay but he just he only made like one or two videos something like that okay but then uh this carmine rosato guy he's a really good supply and demand uh uh okay he sells a course so he sells uh supply and demand course as well as chat room access right but the thing is he didn't really specifically show how he drew the zones okay i mean because he said he's he's doing a business right right but i went to uh find out why he drew this like the level that he drew this zone and then why he drew the zone okay and then did a multiple time frame analysis okay so what i noted was all these basing candles like he mentioned right so that was what i did right i went to stalk him i went to find his <laughs> Why, like for example, he said 410. Okay, so for example, 340, there's a $340, there's a QQQ demand zone, right? He plotted there, but he didn't say which time frame, right? He would just put like demand imbalance. So I went to go and like plot the whole line, uh, plot the line, okay, on the 410 mark. And then I tried to go and find like a 340 mark. And then I went to go and find out like uh, how he actually drew it, like something. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, that was how I actually learned. Okay, so this zone, yeah, breach. It's gone. It's a shit zone. But you can see, uh, yeah, it didn't. The price action here is shit, right? Okay, sorry, it's not shit, but you know, it uh cuts through like butter very easily. Okay, you don't want to see that. Okay, you don't want to see it staying too long inside. Okay, and also uh another thing to note also. Okay, when supply right. Okay, when these zones get tested, they come in. Okay, uh, you maybe this 30 minutes is not that good. Maybe let me go to 15 minutes, 5 minutes, right? So, like I said, always trade on the... Okay, you can trade however you like, but for me, I normally trade on the 5 minute. Okay, and then use the larger time frame for uh, larger time frame analysis. Okay, so we stated this is a demand zone, right? Okay, so like, um, what I want to look out for when tested is not really high volume sell off okay but when it leaves this area okay uh, probably above average uh, buy volume okay so if you there's this buy and sell volume indicator that you can see the buy and sell volumes uh, on each in uh, each candles okay so probably you can use that for the one minute okay i don't really use it for the five i actually i don't use it at all already i used to use it for the one minute time frame i can share with you guys that uh that indicator on thing or swim okay so same thing uh five minute time frame right so we establish this is a demand zone okay, come down here okay eat up all these orders this long wick you know that this is a bottom price rejection candle right price came down uh buyers eat up all the orders push back up and it closed here this is really bullish in my opinion and this is a good time for you to get your okay this is eight o'clock right so but yeah but let's say for example it is uh it's a market open right i i think this will be a good time for you to buy and probably you can just enter over here the next candle okay um right so my outlook for this i have not drawn any zones right or oh, four hour zone yeah so i think i basically covered quite uh covered mainly how i draw or what i look for Okay, so to, to, to backtrack a little bit again, right? Uh, look for basing candles. So demand, like I said, look for red basing candles. Connect them from the body, okay, to the wick, uh, or the bottom wick, the lowest wick. Okay, yeah, the bottom wick or the lowest wick, okay? And next, uh, red uh, supply, we look for green candles. Uh, connect them from the body all the way to the top wick, upper wick. Okay, and then the third way that we can do, right, okay, is draw uh, zones of consolidation. Okay, so like this, for example, I, I take it as this, uh, con this is a consolidation. Okay, this, this is a zone of consolidation, right? Okay, this is a zone of consolidation. So, uh, this will constitute as a supply zone. Why? Because of this large candle down this bag uh this sell off over here right so there's a there's a balance here okay market balance and then price balance and then 
this is a price imbalance okay and then this will be a supply zone okay so imagine if they're gonna put here right uh, you probably would have yeah done well okay yeah but of course again like I said um, this zone got breached okay all right so uh, well I guess next thing you could do is you know that there's a zone here right briefly went up and then uh, I will call this something like a false breakout right okay but the thing is for this matter right uh, for this for this during this time okay this was probably the all-time high correct so uh, you also have to note uh, that, that, that is why right I said uh, also put in your support and resistance levels right all-time high level okay reject it sell off okay this uh, yeah you then you would have caught, uh, gotten a put here as well okay so mainly uh, uh, you have to look, look at macro aspects as well as well uh, macro aspects as well right but you see when supply and resistance uh, support and resistance uh, you add it with supply and demand right your conviction of a trade becomes higher right correct so uh, don't try to just do one only try to do uh, both right so your trading game will exponentially increase Okay, no, uh, right, so for large caps and for large caps, right, when the supply is breached, I will just delete that zone, okay, there's a saying that, uh, okay, some traders says that uh, demand, okay, supply zones uh, breaks, right, it becomes, uh, it becomes demand zone, okay, but I don't think that's the case for large caps, okay, Think of it as like I mentioned just now right uh, institution has a lot of uh, sell orders at this area okay once breaches right there's no more sell orders right okay and then will it make sense to turn it to buy orders no it will try to find its own supply okay it will try to find its own supply next and then sell off okay and I mean at least this is what I learned from the Kamai Rosato guy right which he's a prof uh, he's a professional in uh, demand and supply zones yeah but what I noticed for small caps if you guys play small caps right then uh, yeah I guess supply turns to demand right but the thing is small caps are really manipulated right so uh, it's really much different than large caps yeah but just stick to these rules once demand is broken just delete the zone right price will always come back and find its own uh, its own demand yeah our price will uh, will find its own supply again okay and then you trade off these zones after that wait for price to find its own supply wait for price to find its own demand and then you trade off these zones okay the probability of you winning is higher correct okay so maybe I can go on to Tesla Tesla is like a ticker that all of us like to play. Oh wait, why didn't I have any zones here? Yeah, I have. Okay. Okay. Uh, same thing. Look for these candles. Okay, these. Okay, I also like something that uh, you should be looking out for. Okay. The impulse move again, but look out for these types of candles. Small body long wick okay or at least small body candles okay we call these small body basing candles okay look for this kind of candles okay and then uh, plot it accordingly like what i say right so uh price came down uh eight orders okay but i think this this might be a day i, I can't remember why why this happened and why i didn't delete this zone probably because of this uh the sell volume as well okay but you see the pro the sell volume gets uh huge sell volume gets absorbed okay trading in these zones right when it's selling off okay uh what i want to look out for is not really really very very high volume sell off into these zones right if you look for a lot of, if you look at high volume right high volume does not mean it's all it the, it actually means high volume right but 
it doesn't really means uh okay it means two ways right a lot of sellers but also a lot of buyers correct so in the end you know that this is a demand zone okay so uh we can also say that this can be volume exhaustion right and also with confluence okay i have confluence here right support is over here okay these further ads uh this is like two uh, is confluence so the more confluence you have uh, the more conviction your trade is the more probability of your trade working out uh, your winning percentage is higher right okay so um, same thing I don't want to go through why I draw these zones okay how I draw them but uh, you can see respected respected again okay these kinds of candles bottom wick or even this is what doji or whatever candlestick pattern this is called Okay, whatever we want to call this okay if, okay maybe we don't go to four hours right let's go to our fifth five minute time frame okay well, what time was this <clears throat> okay come sell tap this area sell of things that you want to see and then yeah please okay this kind oh my god this is a good one right uh, I, I don't even know why this happened right but perhaps the news or whatever or maybe spy sell off right but you see comes down eat up all these orders long bottom price rejection candle okay always look for these wicks okay the longer the wick uh, the better it is okay and then next you want to look for this kind of things comes here taps it a little eat up all these orders right and then uh, moves off okay you can see this this is a higher low right so what I have entered I know that price is in demand zone comes up test it again higher low I will enter my call here okay what I can risk okay you can either risk this bottom or you if I mean if you risk all the way down will be quite a lot so I think that comes with risk management uh, that's re that really comes with how you manage your risk right but if you want you could have done this but I would not advise this okay so you can just risk the low of this okay um, right so over here not tapped yet probably there's a zone here there's a zone here right okay let's just draw it on the go this is a zone okay this is probably a zone Okay, uh, because comes up base here and then sells off, sell off, uh, sells off, right? So this is an imbalance. This will be a balance. Okay, but I don't really want to go to a 15 minute time frame to find this. Okay, probably there's a green basing candle here. Okay, but for example, if I draw this on a five minute. Okay. um did it touch no have not yet touched okay so uh i will have to draw my spy again uh tesla again but okay but this might be a zone here as well okay but good zones right that i want to look out for is huge bearish candle now okay so these zones i can't remember why i drew this zone okay but let's say if i base this off the five minutes Okay, this is this when if price came okay, but okay, so let's just let's just imagine that this uh, was a zone. Okay. This is not the actual zone. Okay, the actual zone is in higher time frame analysis. But let's just, let's give uh let's for example this is the zone, right? What you want to look up this will be a good zone. Why? Because there's a huge bearish candle here. Okay, this is then you know if price ever reaches here, right? The chances of it rejecting is really 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 very high okay i can say this with conviction because this is a huge sell order right institution uh balance this uh, balance it out okay okay there's a market imbalance a balance okay and then sells off all the way down okay but of course this might be due to news catalyst or whatever right but there will always still be remaining sell orders over here Okay, so price comes up and retest. Uh, that's what you want to look out for.
rejection. Okay, higher lows, uh, lower high, sorry, and then uh, tapping it and drops down. Not spending, you know, not having like long long action, you know, like, like that, like that, whatsoever. Right. The longer it spends inside the zone, uh, the chances of it breaching is higher. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um. I'll go through well, forty-five minutes. Okay. Let me see. I don't want to take up too much time, right? Because it's not that. Uh, it's, it's actually, I cover many kind of things. Uh, you guys. Before that, I move on. Do you guys have any questions? If you guys have, right, please leave in the general stock chat. Uh, just leave a message there. Okay. I'll go through now small caps. Right. Okay. This is what I mainly trade. So um, small caps, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, demand zone becomes supply zone, supply becomes demand. Okay, yeah, this is the sort of thing that we always hear from, uh, hear a lot as well. Okay, for me, yeah, I try to leave my zone there, right? Uh, but you know, uh, not all the time. I really leave. I don't. I don't really delete my zones for uh, small caps. Okay, but you can see, uh, small caps, right? My zones are normally drawn on five, ten. 15 okay and then uh, if I want to look for uh, okay these are for intraday time zones uh, intraday demand and supply zones all right but uh, if you want to go through to um, if you want to look um, okay wait, let me give an example oh, this is this sticker what's this sticker SOS is it no wait never mind we go to AMC Oh wait, but AMC is not lower. Sorry. Okay, this one. You no. Know. Okay, shit. Never mind. Okay, so okay, so what I'm, I want to do now is uh okay, I'll go through uh a little bit about um larger time frame supply and demand zones for small caps. Okay. So, um, okay, two things I look out for again, um, con consolidation zones, okay, mainly I will plot the entire consolidation zone for uh, small caps, okay, and then uh, basing candles again, right, um, but for this, uh, let's put it, make it easier, right, so for this, I will just draw the zone, I know there's a huge sell-off, if I go to a higher time frame, I'll probably see uh, somewhat of a few green candles here whatsoever okay but don't focus on the candles okay focus on the uh, the area okay so this okay I'm just drawing off the bat okay so something like that okay so uh, consolidate around base around here and then sell off okay so this will be a zone okay look at this tap tap this uh, breakdown uh, tap this and break down okay so yeah this will be a good supply zone over here actually right if I want to refine it I will go to the one hour to, to make the zone uh, much nicer yeah but don't worry too much about this right so for this uh, okay I'm, I'm not trying to look at the left I'm not trying to look left but um, price comes down okay so I'll just plot this entire area Right, this is larger time frame analysis, right? So, um, one thing I also look out for is, uh, right, maybe like one to two days later or on the day itself, right, has this kind of sell off, okay, and then price goes up again, comes back and test this with a bottom price rejection candle, okay, I will just draw uh, this entire zone, okay, maybe not, uh, maybe around here. yeah okay something like that if i go to the one hour two hour then it will show me a proper base okay but yeah we let's take this right and look comes down test this soaks up these orders and and leaves this area yeah so this will be a good demand zone 
um, one more that I did as well VTX this sticker short squeeze right a while ago so you can see here long periods of consolidation okay after the sell-off right I knew that there will be a secondary bounce but I was not sure when okay I think all of us were looking at a secondary bounce but uh, what you can see here is long periods of consolidation okay not long but okay this yes this is good or oh, but this this is maybe if I go to five minutes I can see a longer longer consolidate okay maybe forget it let's do it okay so let's go to five minutes I like I like the five minute time frame for for small caps that's what mainly where I draw my zones okay but yeah I see uh, how I drew the zone yeah I'm not sure why I did this I probably just draw it uh, off the bat right but uh, comes down here consolidate for a long period of time a while actually not long period Come, okay but what we want to note for is again huge uh, upward movement right uh, upward movement okay this is one I want to look out for okay sorry let me drink some water but yeah this is what uh, would constitute as the demand zone okay comes down consolidate for a while a while longer right and then uh, leaves this area so even if you bought this over here this is a uh, good uh, well how much is this you know you don't have to buy in the zone right because you know this uh, there's a chance that this zones get uh, the longer it stays right uh, the chances of it breaching is higher but what you can do to reduce uh, your downside is probably by buying after it leaves this area free test right you see this is a good 10 percent okay i think the, there was one that was quite ridiculous yeah this you see these zones were so so respected okay comes down test all this shit area and then next day it gets up right okay so uh there's this thing that we say uh supply zone becomes demand zone right okay so how i drew my demand zone five minute time frame uh i did this i saw this green basin candle over here i just drew the zone right so you can see uh it actually was, re was respected as a supply zone right look at all these wicks upper price rejection candles upper price rejection candles okay this this is a good one okay upper price rejection candle there's a uh resistance here okay there's a whole dollar half dollar okay the sort of things you look out for right so next um you can see supply zone okay then next uh would it say yeah i guess you can say this will become a demand zone right breaches comes down uh ate up some orders okay and then leaves this area okay but this will be more of sorry okay wait i need to mute some okay so what I why I do not like uh, supply becomes demand right if you drew a zone here okay and then you take this as your demand zone right look what happened this is what this is what will happen right this, this is something like a false uh, false signal right you think that it is coming up coming down to demand zone right but the thing is it comes down it goes up slightly a little right but you see proceeds to sell off Okay, so you will have lost a lot over here right so if you think you know you've thought that okay this is a demand zone uh, buy here right then sell at the next area next supply right so maybe probably the next supply will be here right how I draw this again simple just draw the entire consolidation area okay or where it bases this is at the top right sells off okay so this is how you want to draw it you know, if you thought that this uh, thought of buying here and then selling here you see you will have lost a lot of money Three dollars a share. Okay, so that is why I do not like uh, supply to the demand zones. Okay. So when we go to intraday, okay, I'll go through the tickers that I played uh, yesterday. Okay, or probably like a few tickers. Maybe I can go through clove as well. Uh, Mets. Oh wait, there was one. 
Okay, I posted this this analysis about short uh, because I was shorting this. Okay, but I posted this analysis uh, on my Twitter. Okay, but yeah, I can show you guys again. I can send you guys the link. Okay, so simple thing again, right? Basing candle. Okay, uh, base here. Okay, bought. Um, I just draw body all the way to the bottom. Okay, and then bullish candle all the way up. Okay, so you know that this is the demand zone. If price ever reaches here again, um, yeah, it will get chances are it probably get rejected. Okay, you can see what it did here. But the thing is, this thing, this uh, the issue. Okay, so I have I actually covered, I could have covered here, right? But I did not. Okay, ah, okay, I was probably a little bit um greedy in a sense, right? Um, but you can see how respected it was. Of course, you also have the thing of a uh, five dollar psychological level to look out for, correct? Yeah. So, uh, but even then, right? You took a you took a uh, you took a long here. Okay. Uh, I would think that Matt's this sticker would be going up on Monday. Okay, probably to test this area, or maybe this. Okay, we can say this is a supply zone over here. Okay, why? Because sorry. Yeah, look at this. V really good zone to draw. Consolidate long periods of consolidation and then boom sell off. Okay. If price ever reaches here, right? I will be looking for an opportunity to short this. Okay, but of course it has to have volume, right? But I know these small caps, right? After the second or second day, the third day volume will be practically non-existent. So I don't like to trade. I don't like to stare at the screen all day, right? So, but we'll see, right? If volume picks up, and there's consistent uh, high relative volume. I might take this trade again for short it, if it reaches this level. Okay. Right. Um. Wait. Some. J and J chart, Felix. Okay, Ken. J and J chart. No, well, you guys can throw me some takers. Uh, I will. I will probably go through two more takers. Okay, cause, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of okay. Two or three more tickers. Okay, so let me know the tickers that you want guys want me to run through with you guys or to analyze and how I draw my zones. Okay, so, uh, Felix wanted to do J and J, right? <clears throat> okay, I don't think I have charted this sticker. Okay, so we do a, a run down from the top. Okay, I played this for the run up, uh, the FDA uh, code, the vaccine run up okay, earlier. Okay, so I did uh, earn quite a good money here. Uh, first thing, perhaps all time high chart, right? But I know probably if when I when okay, so when we go to a smaller time frame, right? Chances are there's a supply zone over here. Okay, look at this sell off. Okay, but I know that this sell-off, if I'm not wrong, was because of the efficacy issue. But yeah. Or maybe the after earnings. Something that I, I can't remember, right? But uh yeah. J and J four hour time frame. Okay, good. This is what I'll look for. Uh perhaps go to two hours, try to look for basing candles, right? I would have drawn that basing candle over there, but mm, wait, sorry. Okay, wait, I need to go. One hour. Hmm. I don't like this. Okay, so there's not much of uh, where the sell off happened. Okay, maybe this, but still not what I really want to look out for. So we go to two hours. Okay, so try to flip through time frames to look out for these candles. Mm, yeah, these are not really good though. Okay, never mind. Okay, so like I said earlier, right? It's not necessary for you to look out for, uh, you know, basing candles all the time. Okay, you can always throw in uh, consolidation periods as your supply zone or your demand zone okay 
Oh yeah, this is not even a basing candle. Yeah, I think I guess we'll just go on the one hour. Okay, we saw that consolidation phase just now, right? So that would be a good zone for us. And this is probably a good zone. Okay, so I probably won't take here, right? But what I would have taken, okay, is just probably here. Sorry. Okay, so this is where they consolidated. Okay, it's not much. There's no like. Okay, so there's three phases of, uh, three phases, right? Uh, uptrend, downtrend, or consolidation phase. So this is a consolidation phase. Okay, so this will be your demand zone. If you stretch it out. Yeah, I guess. No, it's not a good zone as well. Hmm. <coughs> I wanted to take here, right? But okay, maybe this. Okay, this would be somewhat of basing candles. Okay, like I say, basing candles. Uh, they base around here. Oh, but the thing is, this bridge. Oh wait, it didn't bridge. Okay, so I will take it here. So like, they form a base here, or we can call this like a horizontal support. Okay, and then uh, proceed to sell off. Wait, uh, hold on. Uh, okay, so this is the supply zone that we have established, right? Yeah, again, it get breaches. So I don't know. Perhaps you see the thing is, um, not all the time, right? Uh, when there's a supply zone, it has to reject. Okay, look at all this action over here. Okay, correct. This is no, they easily uh knife through this supply zone like butter. Okay, so yeah, I wouldn't think that this will be a supply zone. And plus again, nobody should be trading J and J. Uh okay, I won't say nobody. Let me see the Yeah, I don't the thing with J and J is okay, I wouldn't be trading J and J because of volume. Right. The thing is we want to look for liquid very liquid large caps these are really illiquid large caps okay the option price do not move really well on this as well okay but for like tickers like tesla uh, of course spy qqq right these has really good volume so okay, those are uh, those are what i really like to trade for calls okay i mean this chat that semi created is mainly for calls right uh for option place so yeah this is probably what um uh, these are the things that we should be trading instead of all these illiquid uh, tickers, right? Unless they have some bad news or really good news, you know, or we know there's a potential catalyst. Okay, but normal day just trade spy, QQQ or Tesla, yeah, based on the zones that you have drawn. Okay, so even if I said this was a zone, uh, I guess perhaps we can say that, you no know, supply zone and then tap. Hmm. But okay, but what? Okay, so I let me just go through something as well. Uh, all time high, low volume note. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so yeah, I guess even we say this is a. We take this as our supply, right? Yeah, I guess it get, it get it got rejected. But the thing is, I would have taken this over here because of this huge candle. Okay, this is what I like to see. Okay, this is what we should be looking for spotting okay um okay uh what's a good ticker okay we go to fsr right fsr was a ticker that uh, is a mid cap is a mid uh mid cap right so it's not a large cap but you know they still respect supply zones uh, really well okay but of course these stickers can be also manipulated right uh like for example, Jim Jim Kramer, right? He can just talk about this in Mad Money, and then you can see FSR spiking up. All right, so somewhat this can be easily manipulated as well, right? If Zach, you know, Zach Morris tweets about this, yeah, FSR might probably move as well. Yeah, so, but again, not looking from left, right? This is a good consolidation zone. 
okay uh, would I have drawn this entire zone yeah I would have drawn this entire consolidation channel sorry I would have drawn this as my demand zone right this is long periods of accumulation okay low volume as well okay long periods of accumulation okay and then price had an impulse move all the way up okay so I know that okay this we know that there's an impulse move up okay and also when it left when it left this area right what you want to look out for is volume when I say remember when I said um, when coming into the zones right try uh, when retesting the zones right we want to look out for low volume okay but when it leaves that area you want to look out for relatively high uh, high relative uh, high relative volume so um, see here comes down taps this area probably on relative um, yeah we can say we can argue this is a huge volume right but uh, has this candle here bottom price rejection candle okay eats up all these orders these demand zones and then uh, goes up yeah but of course again this I think it had a catalyst or it had news right to spike this okay but you see worth noting that this was a good zone consolidations phase uh, periods would be good zones for you when price leaves okay consolidate normally they'll either break to two areas right okay they'll either go down or go up right so you know try to try to look out for these areas there's only two scenarios or, or maybe the third one is they just consult continue to consolidate within the channel but eventually you either break to the upside or downside okay and then you'll come back and retest the area okay and then uh, continue its trajectory either to the upside or to the downside okay yeah so of course eventually right price get breaches and yeah I think this was because specs uh, died and spy uh, or mid caps were not doing well small caps mid caps were not doing well at all okay yeah um what was another thing a clove okay clove short squeeze right okay i will go through clove and perhaps uh amc okay but clove i didn't draw any zones i i think i did but i deleted them because i saw how well respected the fibonacci levels were okay this i use a fips fips extension okay but i actually saw how well respected they were but again with clove right this is a short squeeze so sometimes uh, it's a little bit different but again worth noting for our time frame let's say we take this right as our zone why why did i take that zone okay i'll probably get a better one okay but uh, comes down bases over here green candle this is a red uh, this is a green candle okay I, I probably need to go to like one hour two hour but um, sorry this one yeah this red candle right um, <clears throat> yeah so this is good um, green bullish candle up this is a bullish engulfing candle okay and then you can see test tested many many times Okay, one time but you see when it taps it taps off uh, when it tap mm, this is not a good testing this is probably during pre-market right so pre-market I don't don't really uh, matter much to, in my opinion okay but of course the, uh, why I took this zone you can see is look at this green candle okay eats up all the orders and uh, goes up Okay, so this would be a good zone okay even if we didn't have that zone right let's say i take this zone this would have been a good demand zone as well yeah but uh but again i would like to take i would prefer to take this instead of this okay because i know this zone that i created okay this zone over here was tested many many times Okay, so more or less is well respected. Okay, but again, I said the more times it uh, 
the more time it tests the zone, uh, the likelihood of it uh, breaching is much higher. Okay, but of course that's not the case for uh, cloth. I mean, probably cloth is already very beaten down as well. Okay, this shit comp this company is so shit, no, that it's probably at its lowest already. It's already trading lower than ten dollars. Yeah. Then again, no, probably we can find some zone here. No, I don't know, but uh, I have to go to intraday, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, let me see. AMC, let me go through AMC. Okay, I had a zone here that was really good. Okay, so I covered this short. Uh, I didn't earn much, okay, because I knew there was a zone here, okay, but I was greedy, right? I thought that you know this short squeeze and uh, this will be the back side of the move it will start to trail down all the way to twenty dollars right but also look at Wall Street bet they do not care about the market sentiment okay one thing to look for is a thing about also uh, is market sentiment right Wall Street bets will buy this gladly at seventy dollars what makes you think they will not buy at forty dollars right so a lot of things uh, you have to look out for right. But for this, um, I noted the supply uh, demand zone here uh, on the five minute time frame. Okay, wait, I need to go to five minutes. Yeah, I noted a five minute demand zone here. Okay, I kind of alerted this. Okay, so for if you guys do not know, I'm in Atlas. Okay, so mo most of the time I in I'm in the short room. So I remember alerting this demand zone over here for those that wanted to short this. Right. So this. How I drew my zone, uh, easy, uh, consolidate around here. Okay, I could have taken this, but why I did not take this is because of the move up, right? So I know, look, always look like remember at the start of this lesson, right? I said always look for the move up, right? Then, uh, the basing candles or the consolidation period before that will be your demand zone, right? That will be how you plot your demand zone. So I noted this demand zone over here of course taps here goes up okay breaches a little bit but uh, there was also a key level here a support here right okay so add this with demand and supply your your trading will be improved okay so some uh okay some okay some some of uh, the guys in atlas short room right they actually shorted this but they wanted more below okay but the thing is we know that this was a respected demand zone there's a lot of orders here okay there's a lot of demand here right so when the moment it tests here look at how it actually tap simple tap okay tap this and then spiked up okay not really spiked up you see but the next day it, it, it tap here okay if you did not cover here you know then uh, those guys would have been underwater right the next day so imagine waking up the next day to a gap up <laughs> the, the feeling of a shot is not really nice right or being short on this is really nice. Plus, you know, uh, Wall Street bets will do not care, right? They will continue to buy out the money calls, and this will affect a lot of other uh, parameters as well, right? That's the reason and basis of this short squeeze. Okay, because uh, of them, you know, buying out the money calls and stuff. I don't know. Okay, but yeah, supply zone over here. Simple. How I drew it was from here. Okay, I drew this. Why I draw this? Um, okay, I drew this. Comes comes here. If I flip to the 15 minute or the 10 minute, it will show me a nice basing candle, right? But okay, we just stick to five. Comes down. Okay. Come pull backs a little. Okay, or base. So you can see this base over here, and then sell off bearish candle. Okay, how I know if this zone is a good zone? Again, I said comes up. Uh, test this a little within the day or one or two days or best if it's intraday okay test this reject and then comes all the way down okay then I know that this is a good zone so if price ever reaches here I will have shorted this stock and yeah price reach here uh, shorted this okay this is another level okay we can go through another strategy next time Okay, this is called VWAP. Uh, 
yeah something like that something about V walk okay it's called V walk Boulevard okay which we can go through next time right but um, this is a really good indicator for me uh, okay it's not an indicator okay but this is like roughly how I trade when shorting stocks okay this is something that I, a strategy sorry it's not an indicator it's a strategy okay but see if I taken this shot you see I were profited and then covered here okay I will definitely cover here right I can't remember if I did I think I did okay but I will cover at this level here which this level which 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 uh I, I can go through this in next lesson or whatever okay and then you can see our demand zone got respected bounce off got rejected uh bounce off no so I know yeah this is a good demand zone okay if price breach this demand zone okay if let me see right okay price breaches this demand zone okay this is sitting on relatively high volume nodes okay it's not really very high but you know it's still something right on the one hour okay if it breaches here okay it can easily go to maybe here okay just uh, that's how I trade as well using volume profile okay these are high zones but you see this is a uh, at the bottom of the demand right this is a really low volume load okay so price can easily slice through these areas okay next one probably is this area this area you know but uh, chances of it bouncing off is probably around this volume load okay so probably around this support over here yeah something like that or if it actually breaches all the next zone I'm gonna see is the next level is somewhere in this high volume load okay but yeah this one uh, we can go through volume profile in another time okay uh, <clears throat> okay guys if not I have think I've covered quite a lot of things and I have this uh, yeah I have this uh, recorded Alright, so I appreciate all of you guys coming. If you guys have any questions, you can feel free to ask me as well. All right. So I think one thing uh, I want to stress out is uh, always practice your zones, right? Uh, practice how to draw them on large caps. Okay, or okay, not large caps, but your spy QQQ or even your Nasdaq. Okay, the more you draw, the more uh, you know, the the more practice, right? Uh, you'll be a master at drawing all these zones and you can easily profit from all these zones uh, look uh, with support and resistance as well I mean that's at least that's how I trade okay then if not yeah I, I think thank you guys for coming today um, yeah we can we can do this another time right maybe next we can go through uh, the other strategy that I use I normally use volume profile and then also this Vivo uh, Boulevard strategy that I have which I can share it now as well. Okay, then yeah, yeah guys, uh, see you guys around again. No questions, right? Yeah, hey, no, you're welcome. Uh, you guys do not have any questions? Or you can answer some one or two questions. No. Then, okay, just leave your message. Uh, you can drop me a DM as well. All right. Uh, see you guys.